Project Dawn is an initiative of the Youth Development Program in the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment. Its aim is to address deficiencies and other social development challenges that face youth on the block. Unemployment, marginalization and incidences of crime and violence are some of the challenges that Project Dawn seeks to address. In 2023, there was a need to give a rebirth to the block committee to assist youngsters who lime on the blocks across Barbados. This three-man committee headed by Marcus Stephen was tasked with going all across Barbados to meet and interact with those who lime on the blocks on this island. The belief was that there was a need to offer a different way to offer a second chance to those persons who believe that maybe the system, as they say, was failing them. Um, I am very pleased as Minister of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment to be a part of the process because government understand, we believe that there is a need to interact and to reach out to this particular demographic. These guys wanted an opportunity to be involved in the process wanted an opportunity to be self-employed, to become entrepreneurs. Project Dawn is a multifaceted project which caters to men and women who live on the block across Barbados. This multifaceted program has seen the team provide opportunities for persons to identify and participate in certified training as well as develop entrepreneurial skills and start businesses. Um, we have provided equipment for guys who want to do landscaping. We've provided technical assistance for those persons who want to engage in farming. Uh, we've provided an opportunity for those youngsters on the blocks to interact with our educational system, i.e. they have source training at the SJPI, um, the Barbados Community College, Paul Marine, and the Barbados Vocational Training Board. Meetings were held with the three institutions that I mentioned before to see how we can have a collaborative effort working um, going forward. In addition, we have source qualified tutors to provide training opp opportunities for these youngsters where they're at. So we're doing art, we're doing a number of training programs at locations uh, within the community. I was a very troubled youngster coming up from young, you know, came up well in the streets, got caught up in the wrong stuff, you know, always had family that was, you know, there to guide and, you know, but there's always a black sheep. You know, story short, I have did a little you know, got in my trouble with the law and through being incarcerated, it helped me to further my skills in art. I'm a self-acclaimed visual artist, got nifted to prove, you know, and I got a love for it. Yeah, in this particular course, I studied in the art and sign making, you know, because it's like, we need these things in Barbados. Look at all our places in Barbados, look at all our roads that the tourists going to be as Barbadians who born here don't even know, you know, don't even know the names of these places and sign making can also help in career development. Instead of getting the youths to go the wrong path and walking down this line, let me guide them towards something better, guide them towards the goals. So far, we've been approached by the block committee and Project Down. So far, they've given their best assistance, their best love, their support, and we need a lot more. You know, they, they can't do it all themselves, you know? It's a very important piece for the community and the program is very, very excellent. I learned a very lot from the tutors. Honestly, the program for me was the best decision I made. I heard about the program from my friend, Dorian Sanford, because he told me that we are looking for friends to come and join this program, so you don't really be doing anything on the streets. Yes, uh, my friend, the information very knowledgeable because later down in the future, I would like to create my own business. It helps people to keep their minds, they keep you occupied and help you to further your edu education. I show a person that there's a different way to life, um, also uh, extra benefits that they can actually have. Uh, open your own business to make extra earnings to help with your family and stuff like that. How did I hear about the program? Um, through Marcus, he was coming through our community. Um, I so wanted to be a part of the program and here I am. Me benefiting from this program, um, definitely want more experience 
more exposure. Um, definitely will like to start my own business, my own hair business. So yeah, this is a step in the right direction for me. Yes, I would recommend Project Dawn because to be honest, is a lot of young ladies in Barbados that really don't know how to braid hair. And I would say they maybe it's black people. Um, we should be able to know how to braid hair. So I hope that the program which get further out, more young people come and get this experience. Well, so far, they can benefit me, they can help me on my case, probably make a little change on the side, etc. Keep my mind occupied. This is the second week we have started. Well, so far, it's eh? wonderful. A lot of skills here to learn, man. Eh? Things that I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. No. So far, we have learned a variety of stuff. We have learned soups, we have learned sandwiches. Today, we are doing canopies and stuff, which is like a, a finger food. So, I have learned so much here. And my expectations for this class is that I would love to be a chef on my own, even open up my own business. And this is something you can acquire when you come here to do this. You can open up your own business and make some money. First thing, I want to thank the Ministry of Youth and I want to thank Project Dawn because this is something good for young people, especially the young people that's laying on the blocks. Any young people that's getting themselves out of trouble, this is something good. So I would recommend any young persons, anybody block laming, anybody getting any trouble, anything so, this is something you can come and do, this is a skill you can acquire, I can better your life. It can get your, it can, it can get out of the block as an opportunity for you want business, for you to elevate. If you want, but if you don't want, well, you know you're also. We have advice on men that just like, you don't call it lamers, but men that don't have something to do with their time, you know? Because if you don't have something to do with your time, probably you're just like cool and thing. But if you have a chance, and if you could get some older folk or some more with like, little residents that can help you with a little kitchen garden, anything so that you can like just try something positive. It ain't going to be negative, because most people try the negative, but just try the positive in life. We will succeed here in Barbados. What Project Dawn is all about. We are not interested in your past or where you came from. We are interested in your present and we want to, we want to, we want, we, we really want to take you in your future. And we are not only catering for personal learning on the block. Once you're within the community and you're unemployed, we give you an opportunity because any day you have to be proactive. Project Dawn has recorded a number of success stories since its inception in 2023, including personal growth, accessing training and starting businesses. We have started 16 businesses coming out of Project Dawn, mainly in landscaping. Guys who were laid off during the beautification project came to us and we assisted them in setting up their businesses. And after setting up the businesses, we give them equipment to help play their trade so that they will be better equipped to feed their families. Um, my business needs to be the best cleaning services. I offer car wash, sofa, um, building, pavement, whatever. Like, you know, just industrial cleaning. We are two, two different businesses. Mine is Supreme Quality Maintenance. Basically, I do like building, cleaning, property maintenance, um, painting, depushing, tiling, anything I don't along that line, that is my expertise. So, Project Dawn project, which we dismissed with Marcus Stevens, gave us an opportunity to boost our business and we decided that we want to give back to this society and community. So we decided to do two schools as a part of the back of the school opening. So we did Deacon's Primary School yesterday and now we are doing Deacon Hall today. We come from times apart, no boy didn't use the gear then, you want to understand? So Marcus come and he looking out for me. So we go look out for others too. When somebody looking out for you, go look out for other people, you know what I mean? Go pass on the blessings. We need opportunities in order to spread the love because we got other youths in the community that would like to come and do it, but you know, we need opportunities that we can spread the love and probably employ some of them. And that is a step forward for us. Hey, morning guys, I'm Dave. I'm Narelle Powers. Bajo Collingwood. Kyle Rashak. We are Will Do Landscaping Services. 
Uh, I just want to thank Project Dawn and the Block Committee for donating the um, various equipment for us, giving us an opportunity with a fresh start, uh, also boosting the business. Um, so often, youngsters are given a stigma where they, I guess, uh, a, a negative outlook on the youngsters, and we're just here to prove and show that there's more to us than meets the eye. Uh, it's very important to get back to the community. Uh, we're going to cut Clapham Community Center. It's to show the older people in the community that the youths are not just wrong here, sitting down, smoking weed, doing nothing. That we are actually positive, you know? We actually are capable of doing more than what they think we can do. I was very excited because I never had an opportunity like this. And my business was never registered before. I met the people from Project Dawn. Very thankful for the opportunity. And we want to personally thank Project Dawn and the Block Committee for their yeah. interjections. Farming has also been an attraction for many of the young people, especially in rural Barbados, where land permissions have been sought and received. Once they are interested in farming, we assist, we assist them in plowing the land, cleaning the land, debushing the land, and with supplies and seedlings. But one of the requirements of all these projects is that you give back to the community in which where you live. Over the last couple of weeks, we have guys going and debushing around pensioners' home, power washing pensioners' home, power washing schools, giving out vegetables because everybody, you have to give back. Well, I feel great. Um, cleaning the school is something we do every vacation. The janitors, the general workers, they stay on when school is out to make sure that the school is in readiness. So with major areas like this, I was really spend with the street reached out with this project saying that they're going to come and assist the school with that. Please, we have a wonderful school scholars team that usually come and give back to the school. So it was great to hear that these young men that have a business in the area are willing to, to do this for the school. And it shows that they, they benefit from the school and they want to give back and they continue as they mentioned before, the blessings yeah. so that the students themselves, when they get their turn, that they can continue, you know, the tradition and do this. I'm very blessed and happy to have my community members come and help me out with the job of cutting the grass and making my place beautiful. I want to thank these young men very much for coming and I appreciate you all for coming. Thank you very much. I've heard about Project Dawn and I'm glad to see it has reached Clapham. Never thought it was been here, but I'm happy to see that you've given the young people some equipment to use to keep the area nice and clean. We really expect you to be good citizens. How does we vote? At any day, because a man lamp on the block, that doesn't make him a criminal. Everybody has their own space, and if you feel comfortable living on the block, it's not a problem, but it's when you get on the block, it's what you take to the block and where you take it in front of the block. And we see a lot of positive because we don't go looking for negative. The program is growing and there's a need for us to continue this program to provide that opportunity for our youngsters who are on the blocks that maybe by not fault of their own require a second chance. And government is doing all in its power through this ministry to ensure that we continue to reach out to those youngsters and make sure that at every step of the way, we're holding their hands to make sure that success is the end result of all of the interaction and all of what we're doing here at the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment. Join us for part two of the Project Dawn initiative, which highlights the enthusiasm of participants for skills enhancement, the thankfulness of parents for opportunities being offered to their children, and the ministry's partnerships with educational institutions to ensure that the Block Committee delivers on its commitments. This Project Dawn fits well into the vision of the SJPI because our mandate and our national mandate is to give you the opportunity to enter work with skills. And therefore, this is an excellent opportunity as I welcome you and as you heard in the prayer that when you leave here, we expect that you are empowered to do such as national citizens of this country to take us in the 21st century in a dynamic way.